on this episode of Florida Sport Fishing TV. Flat line. <laughs> fortunate. Not only did the big just come out of his mouth, oh, but it's right there, and, and you can catch him too. Presents Florida Sport Fishing Television for the Avid Angler, powered by Mercury Marine. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses Taco Marine, makers of Shade Fin, a lightweight, versatile shade system that easily attaches into rod holders, tops, and arches for convenient portable boat shade. Shade Fin, shadow in seconds. Boat Outfitters, where owners and builders go for replacement parts and hard to find hardware. Tropic Trailer, Florida's largest dealer, has the right trailer at the right price. Hey guys, I'm Captain Mike and welcome to another informative and exciting episode of Florida Sport Fishing TV. I'm my brother Mayor on board our Mercury Powered CV today co-hosting the show. We've got a really, really exciting show lined up for you here. We're going to head outside a marathon and do some shallow water bottom fishing. Okay, we may fish the patch reef system, the Florida reef system right out here, which we're going to talk a lot about. We may make our way into Hawk Channel, which literally just kind of separates the land masses here from all of those patch reefs. And we're going to be targeting a lot of different species. You know, we may see some black groupers, hopefully. That's really going to be the target species. Uh, we certainly may see a mix of yellowtail, mangrove, or lane snapper. They're all a possibility on the reef system. And then there's always that chance for a surprise. Big King Mackerel, what else? What else do you think we may see out here? Big Zero Mackerel. Big Zero Mackerel, great. Sailfish, uh, you know, Cobia, Yellow Jacks. There's just so many different opportunities on these patch reefs, you know, and on this live bottom. And I should mention, you know, this reef system right outside the Keys here, it's the third largest barrier reef system in the entire world dating back 8,000 years. I mean, it's just absolutely incredible. It needs to be protected, and it is protected, but it's also open to recreational angling for guys like us, and that is just super exciting. Gives us a lot of opportunities. Here it is winter time, and rather than running way offshore, we could literally just run a handful of miles and be in some prime territory. So I'm super excited. We're loaded up. We're loaded up on bait. We're loaded up on tackle. Getting an early start. You know, let's get out there. We'll fish hard, chum heavy. See what happens. All right, All right. let's go. Let's go. Get that chum flowing before we even attempt to anchor. I know I'm going to be fishing here. I've made that decision. So again, I want to get that chum in the water as we go up to anchor and come back on the anchor. You know, we'll already get that scent in the water and I already get that whole cycle started. Start to attract some ballyhoo and some bait, maybe some juvenile snappers, and then from there, you can of course follow the food chain up. So that's in, let's get up in position and drop the hook here. This is a small spot here, just a small little coral head, not much larger than this boat. I mean, it's literally that small of a spot but I've had some pretty good success here with a variety of different species. So I want to just give this a whirl before we hit any other spots. So there it is starting to appear right there, a little piece of it. There it is right there appearing on the sounder. Doesn't need to be a big spot to hold fish, I'll tell you that. Quite a bit of life on it, so I'm pretty, pretty excited seeing what I see at least. Of course, that's not really an indication as to what you're going to catch because it's all conditions driven, but it is nice to see a pile of fish loaded up on that piece. Hopefully we come back right where I want to be. I'll have to see what this wind and current does. It's in already? Okay. we we'll just ease it back. We got a little ways to go, but just ease it back. See how we end up here. Yeah. 
If exploring the ocean never gets old, if getting salty is something you crave to repeat time and again, if fun in the sun is how you make new friends and stay close to old ones, if you agree time on the water is time well spent, then we build CVs for you and those you call friends and family. For the memories you've yet to make and the friends you've yet to meet, CV boats lead the way. Above deck or below, Easy Anchor Puller is the way to go. From the Hero Series pontoon anchoring solutions on freshwater lakes and rivers to the Rebel Freefall Series, when fast anchor deployment is critical in deep coastal salt water, there's an Easy Anchor Puller for every application. Aluminum or fiberglass boat Easy Anchor Puller drum anchor winches are compact enough to fit in tight spaces and made with all 316 stainless steel components so you can easily mount them above deck or below. Visit EasyAnchorPuller.com, call one 800 1640 today. Dependable terminal tackle. It's vital in every venue. That's why professional anglers targeting bonefish to blue marlin rely on diamond fishing products. With an extensive selection of the finest monofilaments, fluorocarbon, and braided fishing line in the world, it's time you avoid the rest and rig with the best. Diamond fishing products, the official line of Florida Sport Fishing TV, tournament winning fishing teams, and busy charter captains from coast to coast. Reach in here and get a nice big pinfish. There we go. Something like that. Just put him right on a 7 0 live bait hook. Just hooked right through the lips right there, not in the nostril or else he'll die. Make sure you go in between the nostrils. it back there, flat line, rod's gonna be locked up. Just gonna set it and forget it. Wait for this baby to start singing. That's on what, the chunk? You wanna go over top of me here? You know, we've been on this spot now, chumming for about 20 minutes, and it looks like it's just starting to get fired up. And that's one of the keys, is knowing, it's a yellowtail, keep her yellowtail, yep. It's knowing how long to stick it out. There you go and when to move, you know? So sometimes you just gotta put in the time, at least give it that, I say 30 to 60 minutes, you know? If you don't find any action in 30 to 60 minutes, then it's time to move on. Not a giant, but certainly a keeper yellowtail. The staple down here, Florida Keys Reef Fishing, is the 12 to 15 inch yellowtails. I mean, so prolific and great for families, for kids, for out of towners. But I'll tell you what, absolutely great on the dinner table, too. Here, get up, up here. Keep get his up head here. Up. Oh! <laughs> Keep his head oh! Up. Oh! Oh! There we go. Smoking me. Damn. Damn. Oh. He's just going, huh? Yep. Another line out of your way. Oh. Drop the live pinfish down. He got clobbered. Watch that flat line for me right there. Got it, you under it, over it. Yep, yep I'm over clear, it. You're clear, you're clear. Up high, up on top here now. That's the thing about fishing these patch reefs is it's such a mystery. You don't know what you're gonna catch. Look at this guy coming right through our chunk slicker. Unbelievable. I don't see him yet, but he's coming up this side here. Strong fish, I can tell you that. Fighting like a mutton, I think. I don't know, man. I mean, he's all over the place. There he is right there. Rigging Station, proudly presented by VMC, your expert in hooks. Hey, welcome to this episode's Rigging Station. You're watching us out here, patch reef fishing off the Florida Keys, an absolute staple down here year round from Key Largo to Key West and beyond. 
Uh, for starters, we've got a light spinner. This is a Chaos Gold 8 to 17 pound class spinning outfit. It's a seven and a half foot rod matched to a Shimano Stratic 4000 reel. Absolutely deadly combination, super light, but yet it's got enough backbone for some larger snapper species. It's loaded with 12 pound diamond line. 12 pound diamond line is perfect. It's very forgiving, almost invisible. I've got the end of that monofilament tied to approximately 10 feet of 15 pound diamond presentation fluorocarbon. I use a simple blood knot to go from the 12 pound mono to the 15 pound fluoro. Under most scenarios, you can get away with the 15, but sometimes you've got to scale it back to 12 and even 10 pound liter. Okay, these yellowtails, they're you know, famous for outsmarting you for sure. In addition is my go-to. You know, when we're refishing, sure, I like to catch those yellowtails. It's a lot of fun. Great to put, you know, some fish in the box uh, for dinner. But my go-to outfit is something a little bit different. It's a little bit heavier. It's a Chaos Gold 7-foot conventional rod rated for 12 to 20-pound line. Okay, again, 7-foot. And it's matched to a Shimano Torium 16. This is a workhorse of a little conventional reel. Single speed, star drag. That's all that you need in this particular scenario. We're fishing relatively shallow water from 20 feet to about 80 feet. You know, rarely any more than that when we're patch reef fishing, of course, and usually it's 30 to 40 feet. But we bump up the leader here. I go to 30 pound diamond presentation. This is the outfit, this is the rod that I'm fishing for the groupers with, that I'm fishing for the big mangroves with, you know, looking for those larger fish. And you never know when a 35 pound smoker is gonna eat your bait as well. Bring some VMC circle hooks, small little 2-0 circle hooks, because if there's no current or if they're really being leader shy, the circle hook may be the way to go. That's the name of the game right there. Rig it right, and you're going to stay tight. There he is right there. Is that a big coda or a giant king? Big king? Giant king. Gapper? Grab a gap. Oh, oh what a stud. What an absolute pig! Lift his hand, lift his hand. Wait, 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 wait. Got him, got him. All right, Woo! easy, 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 easy. We got him, we got him, we got him. Nice job! Nice job, Get him dude. in the boat. Look Get him in the boat. Oh, my God. Get him in the boat. Oh, oh yeah, oh, baby. Woo! Woo! Look at that one. How about that? <laughs> oh, and look, look at that. The jig came right out. The jig just came right out of his jig mouth. The jig just came right out. Right there. Talk Woo! about, talk about. Fortunate. Not only did the jig just come out of his mouth, look at that little fray. I bet if I put enough pressure on that. You can pull it. Watch this. Nah, it's still strong. Pretty close. Hey, that's that 30 pound diamond <laughs> presentation fluorocarbon baby right there. You know, I've said it so many times where everything eats the pins. Everything. It's just a natural bait source here. And even the king mackerel. Uh, he was all over that. Oh, yeah. He just crushed it. And screaming with it. The best days happen out here. Where the only thing on the line is what you can catch. And every cast could be the one that fills your memories with the fish of your lifetime. Mercury engines are made for exploring. So are you. Go boldly. On and off the water, anglers and boaters protect valuable gear with dry deck. Indestructible, self-draining 12-inch tiles interlock the cover, cushion, and protect any surface and easily trim for a custom fit with no special tools or adhesive. UV stabilizers prevent fading, antimicrobials keep everything dry and odor-free, and cleanup is simple. I don't only stand behind dry deck, I stand on it. Available at your local marine supply store and factory direct at drydeck.com. For over 80 years, Furuno Innovations have helped more fishermen find and catch more fish than any other brand. And we're raising the bar again with Navnet TZ Touch 3's new PBG and Fish It Drifted Technologies. Build your own three-dimensional shaded relief charts to find trophy fish others have missed. Perform accurate drifts the first time, every time. Be the one everyone follows. When you're serious about fishing, lead the way and get serious with Furuno. Chaos. Gear matters. Yeah. Oh my God!
Chaos Gear Matters. Shop online or visit our new superstore for everything fishing. Hey guys, welcome back to Florida Sport Fishing TV. If you're just joining us here, we're aboard our Mercury Powered CV. We're bottom fishing, shallow water bottom fishing on the patch reef system here off the Florida Keys. We've had some success so far. Unfortunately, we're certainly not lighting the world on fire, but we've got some quality fish in the boat so far, so no complaints. Wanted to take a second to talk to you about bait. Really, really important out here. I can't stress how vital it is that you're fishing fresh baits. I have a preference for the pinfish. I really like the pinfish. They're easy to catch. Everything eats them. Very effective on a wide variety of species. You can fish them whole, you know, alive. You can cut them in half, thirds, strips, all, all sorts of stuff. The real, real versatile bait. Perhaps equally as effective is the ballyhoo, the fresh ballyhoo. Often when you're chumming on the patch reefs, the ballyhoo will come right behind the boat. You can catch them with a cast net. You can catch them with a tiny little gold hook on four pound mono. Also an excellent bait, fished alive, butterflied, uh, you know, a ballyhoo plug, even chunks. Again, a great bait. Fresh bonita, also a great bait. Strips of fresh bonita, blue runners, jacks. I mean, again, just about anything that you catch out here, the fish are gonna eat, but it's gotta be fresh. Stay away from that frozen, you know, five pound box of sardines or, you know, uh, pilchards that you're gonna get at the bait shop. The stuff's gonna fall right off the hook and it's not gonna entice the quality fish that you're looking for. So make sure that you really spend as much time, energy, effort, or money that you know, is required to hook yourself up with some live bait. And it's always a great idea to have a variety of live bait as well. I think it hit the bottom. Sat there for three, oh, four that's seconds. that's a nice black. There you go. Is that's that a, a red? red. That's, that's a red. red, yeah. There you go. There we go, a little Thank different. You. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful red grouper. A little bit short, I think, but still. I mean, what a fish, huh? I'm gonna let that fish go quickly. I don't want anything to happen to that fish. Beautiful, beautiful grouper, right? Get nice. out of here. Got, got, him, got him, got him, got him. Oh yeah, got him. Get that tip point to the sky, right. to the sky. Yeah, he's off the bottom now. Oh. There he is. Already? Oh, a little black hooked in the tail. Look at that. Need a net? No, no, no. Just snagged him right in the tail. Little juvenile. But I tell you what, he ate that pinfish too, boy. He wasn't uh, he wasn't shy. Come on, baby, we're just gonna carefully let you go. There we go. Mwah. Grow back to be 50 pounds and then come back and see me. Until then, I don't want to hear anything out of you. I don't want to see you. I don't want to hear you. Nothing. Not until you're a 50. There you go. Oh boy. Nice and easy. Keep his head up high. Keep his head up high. Trying my best. Yep. That's a nice grouper right here on this grouper spot. There you go. Keep his head up high. I'm going to grab the net. He clobbered that pin. I was watching it. <laughs> oh, come on, baby. There you go. Nice and easy. Once he's off the bottom, you know what I mean? You can take it easy with him. Oh, yeah. It's a nice black. Did you see him? Yep. Nice black. Wow. Beautiful. Got him. Nice. Nice job. Nice work. Good job on the net. I'll tell you what. Again, I mean, you know, we've said, oh, look at all that chum. Look at everything no, no, look. he's spitting out. Look, he ate. He was just eating a different fish. Yep. And still ate that pin. He still in went after that pin. Feeding mode for sure. Beautiful fish. There's I mean, they've nice got to be 24 inches. That's absolutely a nice keeper. Solid keeper black for this shallow water. Pro's tip, proudly presented by DeBro Fishing. Innovative tackle storage solutions for every venue. Learn more online. You know, you put in the time. I got to tell you, you know, on this episode's pro's tip, what I want to share with you is how to focus on catching these larger fish in the shallow water rather than those 12 inch yellow tails or the 10 inch mangroves. And the tip is fish big baits. It's that simple. Fish a live pinfish right on the bottom on a half ounce jig head and you're gonna catch the bigger groupers. You're gonna catch the bigger mutton snappers. Don't feed that bait back. 
They don't like that pinfish being fed back. They like it sitting right on the bottom. You know, they'll swim up to it, they'll investigate it, and then they'll inhale it. Beautiful. Since 1977, the legendary 100-foot Yankee captains has set the standard for overnight fishing. With the latest sonar technology and unrivaled service, no one does it better. Wet your appetite with a two or three day trip to the world famous Dry Tortugas, or jump aboard an epic four day adventure to the rich waters of Pulley Ridge and beyond. Fish around the clock, relax in air conditioned comfort, catch the trophy of a lifetime. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses Salt Life Sunglasses, unparalleled polarized protection with anti-glare properties and special coatings to repel water and oil. Jigs are us. A massive selection of slow pitch jigs in stock and ready for delivery. Free shipping at jigsareus.com and your entire order will arrive rigged and ready to fish. Oh, he's boy. got he's got one. There you go. Oh boy. Yep. He just picked it up. Not there a big are. fish. There but, you go. But a nice little guy. Another juvenile black. Really nice to see all of these, you know, juvenile black groupers. I mean, it shows you that the population is really healthy. And look, you had that whole pinfish on. Yep, look at that small mouth, dude. He got it in his mouth. Oh, 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 oh you got one. It's got one. That's just the bottom. No, 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 that's a fish. That's a, that's fish. a fish. That's a fish for sure. That's a fish, brother. Oh, yeah. That's, it. that's not a juvenile either. <laughs> oh, boy. Do your best. Keep his head up. Keep his head up. You know the drill. Putting a hurting on a big fish, whatever it is. <laughs> oh, he's taking me way up to the bow. Don't walk up there? Yeah, watch that rod right there. I mean, I really don't. Oh, all right, yeah. all right. Lesson learned again. I know that was a shark. I mean, groupers are not going to swim away from the structure. They're going to swim toward the structure. Mutton snapper is going to scoot right across the bottom. That was potentially a nurse shark ate my bait. Swimming up current, very typical. But you saw how much pressure I was able to put on that fish, you know? You've got to have that intimate relationship with your tackle. Like a nice lane. Is it? Wow. These coral heads are really, no, no, you really. Know what? It's a nice chunky mangrove. Oh, look at that. That is a nice mangrove. Yep. These coral heads will hold those lanes, they'll hold the mangroves. There you go. Got him. Little guy. Oh, another mangrove. Oh, 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 oh. The pelican tried to get him. Try to get your mangrove. There he is. Got him coming? Oh, I got him a couple feet off the bottom at least. Let me get this one out of your way. All right, there we are. That was a live pin, not a half ounce jig. Oh, he's still digging for the bottom. You know, it's so imperative. You've got to apply that pressure because if he gets you back down there in that reef, he's got a good chance of cutting you off. Oh, man. But at the same token, it's a balance. You can't put too much heat on him. You got him off the bottom? Yeah. He's definitely off the bottom. Nice. There he is. Nice grouper. Nice Big black grouper. grouper. Nice, black. nice black grouper. Beautiful. Beautiful fish. Look at that. Head first. Head first. Yeah. Nice. Look at the colors on Woo! Good job. Good job. All right. That, that was worth beautiful. waiting for. Oh, yeah. Just prized. I mean, everybody loves those blacks right there. Look at that. That's in 30 feet of water on these patches. And what I'm doing is just, like I said, fishing those live pinfish on these jig heads. Right there, that half ounce jig. Nothing fancy. You know, I'm avoiding all of those smaller fish by fishing larger baits right on the bottom for quality groupers, mutton snappers, 
And not to say that you wouldn't get that fish on, you know, a 1215 outfit, and I say 1215 as in 12 pound running line, 15 pound leader, but I bump it up when I'm specifically targeting these groupers. I go up to 20 pound line and 30 pound fluorocarbon. And that's why you saw how he was digging, just trying to get back into that bottom right there. Nice. Another oh one on Oh, boy. Oh, no. Get him up. Get him up. Keep his head up. <laughs> there oh. you go. He just slammed that pinfish. Look at him. Look at yeah, him. Oh, they to love get... those pins. They don't hesitate. When they're going after those things, they're just eating. Grab He's that. trying to get to the bottom. Yeah. Might be able to just lift them up, huh? Or... There he is. Yeah, there another he black? is right there. That looks, yeah, yeah, another black grouper. Yeah, let me get a net. That's a beautiful one. Not as big as the other one, but oh, that's the keeper. Pretty fish. There you go. You got him. All right. Good job. Nice work. That was like a nice little double on blacks <laughs> yeah. right there, huh? That's a great one. There we go. Now those black groupers need to be, what, 24 inches? Yes, so it's sir. not a giant, but certainly a pair of keeper fish right there. Boom. A couple of nice black groupers on that drop right there. My brother and I just doubled up on live pins, and you can catch them too. Beautiful fish. Yeah, beautiful. Good job. Connect with the crew on Instagram at Florida Sport Fishing TV. Catch our extreme seminar series at www.fsftv.com and get hooked up.